English listening activities. Unit 6. This is where I live. Task 2. Read the statements. Listen and circle true or false. Then listen again and check Haruko's favorite room. Are these pictures of your new apartment, Haruko? Yeah, I took them to send to my parents. Looks great. Thanks. This is the living room. Mmm, big for Tokyo. And a nice view of the river. Yeah, and this is the study. This is my favorite room. Oh, it looks really comfortable. Yeah, this is where I spend most of my time when I'm at home. My computer, TV, and stereo are in here. Well, I'm glad everything worked out for you after you had all that trouble finding a place. Thanks. Task 3. Listen to the real estate ads. Are they for houses or apartments? Are the places for sale or for rent? Circle the correct answers. Then listen again and check your answers. Three large bedrooms and lots of closet space. A balcony with a view of the ocean is perfect for growing plants. The monthly rent is only 1000 Two. The best. It has three bedrooms and a good-sized yard. Perfect for families with children and pets. And it's close to shops and schools. This place is priced to sell. So go on. Grab this great opportunity by phoning 369. Three. Beautiful. And this luxury 33rd floor of penthouse overlooks the entire city. Sure, it's expensive, but then it's not for everyone. Interested buyers should take this information down and call 555. Task 4. Listen to the dialogue and check the correct answer. Then listen again and check the correct apartment. Midtown Home Search. Oh, yes. Hi. This is Kelly Lamb. I'm calling about the apartment for rent. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. That one's not available anymore. Oh, no. But I have another one if you're interested. Oh, in the same neighborhood? Uh-huh. And it's very similar to the one on Bonham Road. Can you tell me about it? Well, it's got a good-sized living room, like the one on Bonham, along with a kitchen and dining area. Is there a balcony off the living room? Sorry. That's about the only difference between this one and the Bonham Road apartment. There's no balcony. But it's got two bedrooms. Oh, yeah. One with its own bathroom and... let me see. There's a second bathroom and even a study. Sounds great. When can I see it? If you want, we can go over there right now. It's just on Market Street, about ten minutes from the university. Task 5. Listen and underline the words with the same sound as v in there. Circle the words with the same sound as th in three. Then add at least in the paper for rent. They said we can find our way with this map. Are these the things we need for the apartment? Task 6. Listen and circle the answers that are right for you. 1. Would you rather live in a house or an apartment? 2. Does your home have a balcony? 3. Do you like where you live? 4. Do you own or rent your home? 5. Is there a bathroom next to your bedroom? 6. Do you have a TV in your bedroom? Describing an apartment. Sample dialogue. How many rooms does the apartment have? Six. There are two bedrooms, two bathrooms, a living room, and a kitchen. What furnishings are there in the living room? TV. No, but there's one in each bedroom. The living room also has a balcony overlooking the city. Useful expressions. Does the apartment come with a washer and dryer? Do both bathrooms have showers? How much is the monthly rent? It's $650 a month plus utilities. What floor is the apartment on? In Focus, Home Sweet Home. In many parts of the world, it's a custom to hold a housewarming party shortly after you move into a new home. Party guests typically bring gifts for the person holding the party and are treated to a meal and a tour of the new home. According to tradition, the friendship of the guests warms the house, making the new occupants feel even more comfortable in their new home. 
What are the customs associated with finding or moving into a new home in your country? Their house. Kitchenware or bottles of wine are among the most common housewarming gifts in my country. It's important to make sure the house has the proper feng shui, or harmony between various elements like doorways. Unit seven. It's on the third floor. Task two. Complete the sentences with in, on, next to, or between. Then listen and check your answers. Um, I'm looking for menswear. Menswear is on the second floor. The second floor. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Can you tell me where I can find CD players? CD players. They're in electrical goods. And where's that? On the third floor, next to furniture. Um, I'm looking for tennis rackets. Where can I find them? Tennis rackets? They're in the sporting goods department. And that's on the. It's on the second floor, between the restaurant and the escalator. On the second. Okay. Thank you. Task three. Listen to the elevator announcements. Write the correct floor number for each picture. Then listen again. Third floor. Sporting goods. Track suits. Tennis rackets. Soccer balls. Rollerblades and golf clubs. Two. Seventh floor. Women's wear. Skirts, shorts, shoes, dresses, and hats. Three. Second floor. Electronic goods. TVs, VCRs, stereos, microwaves, and MD players. Four. Fifth floor. Furniture. Sofas, tables, chairs, beds, and desks. Task four. Listen and circle the number you hear. Then listen again and practice. One. I'm looking for the restaurant. Oh, you're on the wrong floor. You need to go up to the seventh floor. It's next to the furniture department. Thanks. Two. Where's the menswear department? Menswear? Take the elevator to eight, and it's hundred. No, but there's a cashier on the sixth floor. Four. Excuse me. Is there a restroom around here? No, but there's one on the first floor. Thanks. Five. Attention shoppers! For the next hour, you can find our red light specials on the ninth floor. Six. What floor are we on anyway? Thirteen. Task five. Listen to the public address announcement and label the missing departments at Shoprite Discount Warehouse. Then listen again. And check the departments where there are special offers. Good morning, shoppers. Welcome to Shoprite Discount Warehouse, where low prices are the rule every day. On the first floor, you'll find our luggage, jewelry, and cosmetics departments. Be sure and check out our great selection of luggage and take advantage of a one-day sale on Wadsworth travel bags. One floor up, hardware and menswear on the second floor. You can find children's wear on the third floor, right next to the escalators. For one week only, there's a special on brand name skirts in the women's wear department, also on the third floor. If you're hungry, there's a huge selection of meals available in the food court on the fourth floor. Look for the furniture department right next to the escalators. The food court is on the other side of furniture. And if you're a frequent Shoppers Club member, don't miss the great deals on TVs and electrical goods next to the restaurant on the fourth floor. Thank you for shopping the Shoprite way. Task six: Look at the floor plan in Task five and listen. Circle the correct answers. One: You can find men's clothing on the second floor. Two: Sporting goods is on the third floor. Three. Suitcases are on the first floor. Five CD players and TVs are on the fourth floor. Six there are restrooms on every floor. Talking about locations in a store, sample dialogue. Can I help you? Yes, I'm looking for running shoes. Running shoes, right over there in the sporting goods department. Great. I'm also looking for a skirt for my wife. Okay, women's wear is on the third floor next to the children's wear department. You can take the escalator. And where's that? Right next to hardware.
Useful expressions. Excuse me, can you tell me where to find CD players? Sure, they're right upstairs in the electrical goods department. Take the escalator to four, and it's right next to the food court. What floor is sporting goods on? Is there a restroom on this floor? In many countries, traditional open-air markets such as Namdaemun in Korea or Singapore's Clark Key Flea Market compete with shopping centers and department stores for customers. Have you ever been to a traditional market in your country? What are some advantages of shopping at open-air markets versus department stores? What are some disadvantages? In Thailand, traditional markets have much lower prices than department stores. North America department stores offer better quality products than open-air markets. Open-air markets. In Unit eight. Can you work weekends? Task two. Listen to the four conversations and number the occupations one through four. Then listen again. How does each person describe the job? Circle the correct word. One. I see here that you've got a lot of experience. Tell me, Steve, how did you first get interested in the computer field? Well, working in computers is all I ever really wanted to do. I got my first computer when I was about ten, and I've spent most of my time working with them ever since. What is it that interests you about computer programming? It's just a really creative job, I guess. You get a chance to make something from nothing. Two. I just can't believe you're a police officer, Margo. I remember in high school you always wanted to be a lawyer. Yeah, I guess it was all those TV shows about lawyers. I started law school, but then I realized it just wasn't the right career. Sometimes I wish it were a little more dangerous. Right now, all I do is write traffic tickets. It's kind of boring, actually. Three. I guess they told you on the phone that we're looking for someone to do oil changes, tune-ups, that sort of thing. I'm your man, then. Those are exactly the kinds of things I did in my last job. And why did you leave your previous employer? Well, I was working for a trucking company, and the owner wanted me to do extra work on top of my job as a mechanic. What type of work? Delivering stuff mostly. I didn't like it too much. Being a mechanic is really enjoyable. I love working on engines. Four. So, Mark, you've decided to go into education. What made you decide to choose that field? I guess I just think it's the right choice for me. I used to have a part-time job as a tutor, and I really liked it. That's great. There's just a couple of things you should probably consider. First of all, you know you're not likely to get rich teaching school. The reason I'm going into it, helping people learn, is just really satisfying for me. Task three: Listen to the questions and circle the best responses. Then listen again and check your answers. One. What's your phone number? Two. Where did you go to school? Three. Can you speak Japanese? Four. What do you do there? Five. How long did you work at Telcor? Task four. Which words are stressed? Listen to the example. Then listen and underline the stressed words. Listen again and practice. Example. Can you speak English? One. I can speak Spanish. Two. I can't drive a truck. Three. Can you work weekends? Use Picture Shop, can't he? Task five. Read the job ad and listen to the two job interviews. Write yes or no for each item on the interview form. Then listen again and check your answers. Who do you think is the best candidate for the job? Share your opinion with a partner. One. As you know, Patricia, we're looking for someone who has done it all in the publishing design field. Someone who knows the business inside out and can take charge of a design team. Well, as you can see from my resume, I worked my way up from intern to senior designer at Q Style Magazine, so I'm comfortable doing just about any job. Are you comfortable using the new Design Wiz software? Very comfortable. I can also use Picture Shop. I even took some photos for Q Style when the staff photographers were busy. And how about your French? Well, I'm better at speaking French than writing it, but I can do both. That's good because you'd sometimes be working pages. 
I can type about 50 words a minute. Um, okay. Ever work with spreadsheets for payroll, that sort of thing? No, I guess I'd have to learn that. I'm very hard working. I can work weekends. That's great. You'd also be traveling to the U.S. once in a while. Is that okay? That's no problem. Two. Julian, it says on your resume that you're on the design team at Fashion Central magazine. For about two years. I studied design at college, but really didn't get much hands-on experience until I worked for Fashion Central. They taught me everything. How to use DesignWiz. So you can use DesignWiz. Good. How are you with photos? Well, I can't really take professional photos. I know how to use Picture Shop, though. What about spreadsheets? In this job, you'd need to use them for things like payroll. That's no problem. I actually studied accounting before I got into design. I see here that you grew up in Quebec. I assume you speak French. Fluent. There's travel involved in this job. Any problem flying to the U.S. once in a while? No, that's fine. I'm willing to do what it takes to be good at this job. I can work nights, weekends. Yes, that would be a part of the job. Oh, I almost forgot. How's your typing? Believe it or not, we need someone who can type pretty fast. I guess I type at about, I don't know, 40 words a minute? Task 6. Listen and circle the answers that are right for you. 1. Do you have a master's degree? 2. Have you ever taken a TOEFL test? 3. Can you speak French? 4. Is earning a high salary important to you? 5. Do you like to travel? 6. Are you a hard worker? Asking and answering job interview questions. Design skills. I can use DesignWiz software. I also know Picture Shop. Okay. Can you work with spreadsheets? Yes. I used spreadsheets in my previous job. What about your language skills? Can you speak French? Yes, I can. I studied in France for three years. I love to travel. That's great. I just have a few more questions. Useful expressions. Why did you leave your last job? I was looking for a new challenge. Why do you think you're the best candidate for the job? I have a lot of experience, and I'm very hard working. Are you willing to travel or move to another city? Yes, I love to travel, and I'd be willing to relocate. In Focus, Prestigious Careers Respondents to a 2001 survey by the Harris Peers and scientists as the three most prestigious professions from a list of 17. The three least prestigious jobs were banker, accountant, and business person. What are the most prestigious professions in your country? What are the least prestigious? Why do you think people respect certain professions over others? I think teachers get a lot of prestige because it's such a difficult job. Politicians don't get any respect in my country. People think they're dishonest. I think nurses deserve... Unit 10. How does it work? Task 2. Listen and circle the words you hear in each conversation. Then listen again. Which item is each person talking about? Number the photos, 1 through 3. 1. Can you help me out here, Mark? I'm trying to figure out how to use this thing. I have to plug something in here, don't I? Let's see what you're trying to do. Oh, well, first you have to open it up like this. Oh, that's how it works. Yeah, then you just put in a CD, close it, and... Then you press play. Right. And if you want to raise or lower the volume, you can adjust it right here. Two. That looks fancy. Is it new? Yeah, I just got it. With this little baby, I can control everything. Really? How does it work? It's pretty simple, really. You just press this button to turn everything on. Everything? Wow. Move this switch if you want to change the mode and use the others and just use this one. Three. You look like you're having some trouble there, Russell. You could say that. I can't even find a power button. Well, let's see. Did you plug it in? Yeah, I got that far at least. Okay, the power is right here on the side. Turn it on like this and then... What's this? There's a disc in there. Oh, okay. Well, let's take out the disc and we're ready to go. 
You have to use the mouse to open the window, don't you? Yep. Just move the cursor over here like this, click on this icon, and there's your window. Task 3. Gerald is calling a helpline for instructions on how to use his MD player. Listen. What instructions does he get? Write do or don't in the space next to each instruction. Then listen again and check your answers. Tune Master Helpline, Andrea speaking. Oh, to record anything. You're trying to record a whole CD? Yeah, I've got everything hooked up, but the MD player isn't recording. Okay, well, let's start from the beginning. Is everything turned on? Yeah, it's all ready to go. All right, now I want you to make sure you've got the cable hooked up correctly. Okay, do I plug the cable into the phone slot on the CD player? No, don't plug it in there. You have to use the one marked Digital Out. Digital Out, right. Now, put a mini disc in the MD player, close the cover, and... Do I press record on the CD player? No, just play the CD, press record on the MD player. What about the volume? Is it going to record at the right level? Yes, don't adjust the volume. Just keep recording until the CD stops playing. The CD and MD players will both turn off automatically. Okay, thanks for all your help. Task 4. Listen. Are these people sure about what they're saying? Sir, and practice. 1. It's an MD player, isn't it? 2. You have a computer, don't you? 3. You put it in here, didn't you? 4. You press this button, don't you? 5. You turned it off, didn't you? Task 5. Listen and check the correct statement. Then listen again and number the pictures, one through six. Can I help you with anything, sir? Well, I'm trying to figure out how this digital camera works. Can you show me how to use a computer to look at the photos I took? Sure. Whenever you want to look at your photos, you just run this cable between the camera and computer. So the first thing you have to do is plug it into the back of the computer. Okay. Now, do you see this? That's the mode dial. The Setup. Right. To download photos, move the mode dial to connect. Then look at the computer. There's a camera icon here. Yes. Click on the icon and you're connected to the camera. Now, to download the pictures... You just press download on the computer screen, don't you? Not yet. First, adjust the picture quality here. That's better. Now press download. It's pretty easy, isn't it? Can I turn the camera off now? Yep, the pictures are downloaded. Turn off the camera and we'll take a look at what we've got. Wow, those photos look great. Task 6. Listen and circle the answers that are right for you. 1. You have a DVD player, don't you? 2. Can you tell me how to use an MD player? 3. You've used a laser printer, haven't you? 5. Have you ever used a fax machine? 6. Do you have a digital camera? Giving and understanding instructions. Sample dialogue. Can you tell me how to use this computer? Sure. First you have to turn it on. Just press the power button. Okay. Do I have to open this now? Yes. Open it. Put in a disk and then close it. How do I open it? Do I press a button on the right side? No, the button is on the front. You adjust the sound on the side. Useful expressions. How do I turn it on? I don't know how to open it. What is this cable for? Move this switch to adjust the picture quality. You have to use the slot marked Cable In. In Focus the mother of invention. In a 1999 survey by the American computer as the 20th century's greatest invention, ahead of the car, electricity, television, and the telephone, what do you think are some of the greatest inventions of the past 100 years? What are some inventions that you can't live without? I think rewritable CDs are a great invention because you can store so much information. I still think books are the best invention ever. We couldn't live without them.
The Internet is the world's greatest invention. Unit 9. Where's the ferry terminal? Task 2. Listen to the conversations. What does each person want to see or do? Number the photos 1 through 6. Then listen again. Where is each person advised to go? Circle the correct answers. 1. Good evening, sir. How can I help you? Well, this might seem like a strange question, but I saw some people on TV doing a sort of slow motion exercise. Could you tell me what it was? Oh, you mean Tai Chi. It's a martial art that's meant to improve your concentration and help you relax. It's very popular in Hong Kong. It looks really interesting. Is there any place I could go to find out more about it? You could take classes, but since you're only here for a few days, you should probably just go to Kowloon Park. A lot of people practice Tai Chi there. 2. Is there something I can help you with, ma'am? Oh, was there something in particular you were interested in? I'm not sure. What about traditional music? Do they have any performances I could attend? I'd recommend the Chinese opera. There's a schedule right here. The performances are held at the Hong Kong Cultural Center. 3. Could I ask you a question? We were wondering if there were any good clubs around here. Yes, there are quite a few. Are you looking for a place to dance or to hear live music? We're really in the mood to dance. Okay. Well, there are plenty of choices. There's a great place called Judgment AD in the Bank of America Tower. You just take the MTR to Admiralty. Judgment AD in the Bank of America Tower. Got it. Four. Hi, you're going to think this is a bit strange, but my husband wants to have his fortune told. That's not as strange as you think. A lot of people go to fortune tellers. You just have to go to a temple. That's not too far from here. 5. Could you help me? I'm looking for a new place to shop. You've already been to Pacific Place? Yes, I spent all day there yesterday. I guess I'm just looking for some place new to explore. Well, you should probably visit Times Square then. There are a lot of boutiques and brand name stores there. 6. Excuse me, sir. I've heard there's a floating market in Hong Kong. Is it anything like the one in Bangkok? To tell you the truth, it's not a market at all. It's a place to eat. So it's a big restaurant? Three big restaurants, actually. All on a huge floating platform on the water. It's in Victoria Harbor? No, you have to go to Aberdeen Harbor on the other side of the island. Task 3. Read the statements and listen to the directions. Circle T for true or F for false. Then listen again and check your answers. 2. The bookstore is right behind the Admiral Hotel. 3. The market? Take the next left. It's just beside the hospital. 4. No, there's no subway station on Kensington Street. There's one in front of the Park Place Hotel, though. 5. The closest movie theater is in the shopping mall on Guildwood Avenue. Look for the supermarket. The mall is on the other side of the street. Task 4. Listen. Does the intonation rise or fall at the end of each question? Circle the correct answer. Then listen again and practice. 1. Do you know where the station is? 2. When does the bus get here? 3. Is there a bookstore nearby? 4. How do I get to the ferry terminal? Banks around here? Task 5. Listen to the tourist information about Kowloon. Number the places in the order that you hear them, 1 through 6. Then listen again. Draw lines between each place and its location on the map. Welcome to Hong Kong and thank you for choosing Beacon Tours. I'm your tour guide, Samantha Lin. As we make our way to Kowloon, here's a brief overview of some of the local tourist sites you may wish to visit. As most of you know, we've arranged for you to stay at the Peninsula Hotel, which is located between the YMCA Salisbury Hotel and the Sheraton Hotel on Salisbury Road. Just across the street from the Peninsula Hotel, you'll find the Hong Kong Space Museum between the Hong Kong Cultural Center and Salisbury Gardens. The Space Museum has dozens of fascinating displays, including an actual Mercury space capsule. 
Up Nathan Road in Kowloon Park is for lovers of outdoor dining and nightlife, Nutsford Terrace is the place to go. This trendy entertainment district is located near the Miramar Hotel, just off Nathan Road. Hong Kong is well known as a shopper's paradise, and two of the best markets in town are located in Kowloon. With hundreds of different kinds of birds on display, the bird market is one of Hong Kong's must-see tourist destinations. Look for it close to the Grand Tower Hotel and Mong Kok Subway Station. Just as interesting is the Temple Street Night Market, the place to go for inexpensive clothes, shoes, and household goods. You'll find it next to Tin Hao Temple, close to Yao Mate MTR Station. Now let me tell you something about this part of Hong Kong, because you've probably noticed... All Task 6. Listen and circle the answers that are right for you. 1. Is there a park near your house? 2. Do you take the bus here? 4. Do you know the way to the train station? 5. Can you walk to the subway from here? 6. Are there any good restaurants around here? Asking for directions and describing locations. Sample dialogue. Excuse me, I'm looking for a good place to have dinner with friends. Could you recommend a place? The best choice is probably Nutsford Terrace. It isn't too far from here. Nutsford Terrace. Could you tell me where that is? Sure. It's on Kimberley Road, close to the Miramar. Sorry. I don't know where the Miramar is. Oh, it's on Nathan Road, across from Kowloon Park. Close to the Miramar Hotel, across from Kowloon Park. Thanks. Useful expressions. Excuse me. Is there a post office near here? Sure. Go up Nathan Road to Middle Road and turn right. Not. It's in Wan Chai. Is it within walking distance from here? No, you should probably take a cab. In focus, it's a must-see. Travel companies sometimes offer tours built around particular themes, like historical sites, cultural institutions, or popular night spots. Which places in your city would you include on a tour of important historical sites? Which places are must-see stops on a cultural tour of your city? Where would you take tourists who wanted to visit the best night spots? Visitors to Tokyo can learn about Japanese culture in the museums at Ueno Koen Park. The National Palace is a must-see in Mexico City. The murals there show Mexico's history. Soho is the main... Review, Unit 6 through 10. Task 1. Marcia is describing the type of home she's looking for. Listen and circle the correct information. Then listen again and check your answers. Good morning, Skyline Real Estate. Uh, hello. My name is Marcia Wheeler. I saw your ad in the paper. How can I help you, Marcia? Well, I'm hoping you can help me find a place to live. Okay. First, I need to know whether you're looking for a house or an apartment. Oh, just an apartment. All right. And how many bedrooms do you need? Um, let me see. Two would be better. No, I think one is fine. Right. And are you looking for furnished or unfurnished? Well, I don't have very much furniture. We do have semi-furnished apartments. That means the apartment owner would supply some of the furniture and you would supply the rest. That sounds good. Put me down for semi-furnished. Could you tell me what sort of furniture you'd need? Just the living room, then. Right. What about location? Would you prefer to be close to the university or downtown? Um, the university, please. And can you make sure it's close to the subway? Does it matter if you're on a bus route? Not really. I only take the subway. The last thing is how much you're able to pay. Oh, for the rent? Yeah, I can pay up to about $600 a month. Task 2. Listen to the conversations and number the pictures 1 through 4. Then listen again and circle the things Allison can do. 1. As you know, Allison, we're looking for someone who can type, answer the phone, and help out wherever else they're needed. That's no problem, Mr. Lee. Okay. Tell me, what's your typing speed? I can type about 70 words a minute. 2. Are you new here? Yes, it's my first day. My name's Alice. I just finished it. Do you want me to fax it to head office? 
That would be great. Do you know how to use the fax machine? Sure. I can send it right now. Three. Morning, Mr. Wu. What can I do for you? Allison, I need to make some phone calls to China and Mexico. What can I do to help? Well, I'm okay calling China. The problem is I can't speak any Spanish. Can you? Yes, I studied it in college. You just have to tell me what to say. Four. Allison, this is Evelyn Kwok from accounting. Pleased to meet you, Miss Kwok. Hi, Allison. Listen, have you ever worked with Exalt Software? It's a spreadsheet program. Sure, I used it at school. Do you need me to help with something? Task three. Listen to the telephone recording. Number the correct places on the map one through five. Then listen again and check your answers. Find your way around the local area. Here is a list of some key places near the hotel. Right next to the hotel is Papa Romano's restaurant, home of the city's best Italian food. Just a short walk from there is the Hollywood Theater, where you can see all the latest movies under one roof. Look for the theater behind Gatewood Park. There is plenty of shopping nearby. Town Square Shopping Mall is across from the bookstore, and the Sunnyvale Shopping Center is directly opposite the hotel. For those wishing to visit other parts of the city, City Center Subway Station is located between Town Square Shopping Mall and KJ's Department Store. Buses are available at the bus station in front of the post office. There is a route map posted at the bus station. Task four: Listen to the conversations. What department is each person looking for? Number the photos one through five. Then listen again. One. Excuse me, I'm looking for a basketball. Where can I find Sporting Goods? Sporting Goods is on the third floor, right next to the escalators. Thanks very much. Two. Excuse me, sir. Do you sell suitcases here? Suitcases? Yes. The luggage department is here on the first floor. It's right over there, next to ladies' wear. Three. Can I help you at all, ma'am? Oh yes, we're hoping to buy a sofa. Where would I find the furniture department? Oh, furniture is up on the second floor, next to the food court. The food court? Yes. Turn right when you get off the escalator. Go through the food court, and you'll see the furniture department in the corner. Four. I guess you have some TVs around here somewhere. Do you? Not on this floor, sir. TVs are up in the electronics department. What floor is that on? It's on the second floor, beside the household goods. Is it's here on the first floor, ma'am, right between the jewelry and cosmetics departments. Task five: Listen and circle the answers that are right for you. One: Is your home far from here? Two: Do you take the subway every day? Three. Are there any nightclubs near here? Four. Do you know much about MD players? Five.